hey what's going on my friends we are here with another 25 dollars a week dividend portfolio update and it is what sunday monday memorial day weekend the first week of june last few days of may and things are looking pretty good as you can see we have one thousand one hundred and thirty eight dollars and forty seven cents yes this is from us contributing on a ongoing basis a small amount of money with one little nice boost that we got from the stimulus check where we added 500 dollars because you know we paid down some of our bills we were able to you know get a nice little meal or something also one night we didn't splurge on the drinks and stuff we weren't popping bottles uh, but we got a nice little meal and then we were able to put a few bucks here inside of our dividend portfolio, which helped give it a nice boost that you'll see when we look back over the few uh, uh, different options over here um, when it comes to tracking. But you can see one day, yeah, obviously it being Sunday, Monday, um, you, you ain't seeing nothing over here. There ain't enough data over the weekend and whatnot, of course. But you do see that one dollar and 88 cents for our gain which is 0.17 percent return but let's jump back to one week ago over the past week you can see we got nine dollars and 77 cents with our total gain and a return of 0.87 percent but we're gonna kick it up a notch and go back one month and you guys can see things starting to pick up we our, our total gains jumped up to 51 dollars and 88 cents with a five percent return when i was telling you guys that 500 dollar boost really helped out a lot well look at this bad boy i mean we went from doing from from uh 203 dollars about up to 734 dollars so that was the combination i believe of um just uh, a good time well i mean you can look at it it's just still we're getting a nice upward trend so you're seeing this ongoing contributing uh of our 25 dollars that we're adding that we are um, contributing to our um portfolio but then you also have the market and the gains that we're getting there along with our dividends so when we look at our full all-time look over uh over the past few months pretty much we started this on february 1st with 100 dollars, and then we just started contributing 25 dollars from there we had that stimulus check so we added 500 dollars, and we continued without 25 dollars a week and now you can see we're over a thousand dollars and i'm hoping people you know anyone out there who's balling on a budget as i like to call it if you if you feel like you're broke you feel like you are tight on cash you don't have enough money to invest well you can literally do it with a few dollars a day and you can see it's paying off now i don't expect it to always be have this ongoing upward trend like this i expect a dip or two here and there it's gonna fall a bit we're gonna see sometimes it's gonna look like the world's coming to an end but it will continue back up is what i believe um but even so far right now for what we're looking at things are looking really good and there's no reason to slow down you know to let up we just have this in that auto kind of drip motion where you don't have to do anything and you just have it connected to your bank account and m1 finance will take care of the rest they will continue to drip as you have scheduled and planned out so don't think that you can't do this as well you might be a little iffy about you know kind of you might feel like it's gambling or it's too risky for you and it might be <laughs> you do have to do your research you have to make sure you have the right companies that are in your portfolio that are going to allow you to get gains like this or greater or more or larger i mean some might look at this and say well you know if you had tesla and so on you would have a larger you know but uh, um, your returns would be even greater than this I mean, eh, if I started this in February with Tesla, I don't know if that's true, actually, <laughs> considering how Tesla's doing right now. But Tesla also doesn't give you dividends, so they couldn't be in this portfolio anyway. That said, we're going to look at the companies that are in our portfolio and see how they're doing. I mean, 
again when we look at our uh, total gains you can see we have hundred and fifteen dollars so the question is who is hooking us up with all of those gains well pretty much at the top which is what we're seeing on a consistent basis so far um, are the REITs the real estates uh, that are that are, are you know real estates happen happens to just be running you know things right now and you know they talk about you can look up like lumber prices haven't gone up like a ridiculous amount in which I don't know I would have some some might have thought well if lumber prices are gone up so much maybe it's gonna slow things down like drastically slow things down uh yeah I mean you can still see both of my reads are up here at the top killing it still so I don't know about all that but it maybe it will I don't know I'm not that's not my my industry I couldn't say I'm not an expert on that topic and whatnot but um I will say these reads are killing it and and you know with great risk comes great reward so i do again anticipate at some point in the future these two companies not to be at the top but for now they are and i'm loving it da -da 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 -da. No. <laughs> so uh as you guys can see we got new who is up here new tech business services corp with 43 dollars and 94 cents and that's the return uh, i mean 76 percent is like sick <laughs> like this is killing it and they're just on a run um compared to everyone else which i mean everyone's doing well for the most part anyway so no complaints but they're, they're just like killing it so I, like i said a moment ago i don't expect them and anticipate them to always be tearing things up like this that said i'm enjoying it while it's here after that, we got Realty Income Corp with $13.46, 20, uh, about 20% uh, return. We got uh, 3M with $12. We got Pepsi with about uh, $10.76. We got JP Morgan with $10.80. We got Coca-Cola with almost not uh, ten dollars we got johnson and johnson with seven dollars and 87 cents we got proctor and gamble with three dollars and 87 cents verizon with two dollars and 32 cents and at the bottom because of all of this news is mergers this that and the other buying whom and discovery channel and yeah at&t still in the green which i'm loving <laughs> And I was saying in that last video last week, we were thinking about selling it, getting rid of it, making a swap. But um, I wanted to kind of just test the waters, run with them a bit, see what they might do, what they might, you know, kick up. Who knows? You can't, you know, no one can, you know, see in the future. And we've already, they, we know AT&T has been here for a while. They, you know, they, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. They, I mean, yeah, they could be going under, but I don't see it happening in the very short near future which gives us time to continue to work with them and see what they can do um you know a lot of people like to criticize and talk about the ceos and all the executives of, of these companies and it's like man most of you saying talking anything have no uh couldn't couldn't do remotely close to what these individuals are doing in terms of running these or organizations to the capacity that they are um that said of course there are some people that could probably do them do it better um but for the most part most of us who are talk who always will want to criticize and talk about some of these executives and these ceos i mean they're doing you know uh some things that are just going beyond our uh scope of trying to comprehend or trying to just build and and grow and you know establish um you know footprint in, in in any of these industries um let alone like telecommunications and whatnot um but like i said we're gonna ride with at&t see what they do if they continue to sink then we might be going down with the ship no 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 that's why we have a nice diversified portfolio that gives us the ability to weather the storm and, and you know keep our head afloat if the ship does go down 
we're going to have our little lifeguard jacket on, a little t- tube thing, you know, going to be around us as well. So we'll be straight. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll get through it. The rescue boats will come by one of these other guys, probably Newt, who's just killing it. And, you know, yeah, we're going to run with it from there and see what happens. But, I, yeah, you guys need to start your dividend portfolio. I'm, I, I'm creating this. I'm, I'm publicly showing you guys on a weekly basis our growth. And you're able to actually see, you know, what is going on. And what you see is our small portions of dividend payments coming in that through time, they do add up. You know, this 52 cents from JP Morgan with AT&T's dollar and 51 cents, which, you know, now it's probably going to be cut in half because of uh, their latest merger and whatnot. Um, uh, But Verizon's at 95 cents. I mean, all of these Procter & Gamble and Realty Income up here, all of these dividend payments add up along with our $25 that we're contributing on a weekly basis. And through time, this $1,100 will add up to much, much more only because of us adding a small portion of our income, a small fraction on a consistent ongoing basis. And you don't even notice it because you don't you aren't really doing anything. You're not even doing it, though. It's, it's automatically set up. That's the beauty with M1 Finance and being able to use this software and this platform. You can configure it and set it up to have your money just automatically deposited. Um, and even your 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 investments that you you get, your earnings, all of this right here. You know, the market gain and your earned dividends, you want it to go back into your high your dividend portfolio so you can continue to have all of that money work for you work for uh, work itself so that you aren't the one over here having to work so much or work as hard like yeah you're still contributing your 25 dollars, but again you're not even really doing it it's going to be automatic automatically configured when you use m1 finance which i have a link down below so if you are aren't already using them and you don't have a dividend portfolio or some sort of portfolio that includes dividend uh, companies, you might want to consider using the link down below, signing up with M1 Finance, where you'll get $30 for free when you sign up and start uh, contributing to your account. And it doesn't even have to be a dividend portfolio. It can be uh, tech. It can be growth, um, whatever it is that you're interested in. If you want to have Tesla, okay, have Tesla in your portfolio as well. I've, I'm invested in Tesla too, just not here in this particular portfolio you dig so i'm gonna wrap it up there i hope you guys are finding this you know this content helpful and motivational and seeing that hey like man he only started this portfolio with a hundred dollars and then started adding 25 dollars. yeah he had one little boost there with the, with the stimulus check um but man if i had my stimulus check and i just put a couple hundred dollars in my dividend portfolio i'd be up to eleven hundred dollars too or i'd be up way over that i mean you can add 250 dollars to your dividend portfolio every week you can add two thousand dollars every week every month um whatever it is that you're able to afford you know i would consider creating some sort of dividend portfolio if you haven't yet if you aren't investing at all if you don't have some sort of retirement fund or anything that's helping you with saving towards some sort of goal some sort of uh purchase or investment that you're going to make in the near future or, or down the road consider having something like this some sort of simple 25 dollars a week portfolio that's going to work for you and hopefully when it's all said and done when you're when you're ready to dive back into it you know i mean you don't even have to look at your portfolio every week that's a cool thing about it too like i'm showing you guys so we're seeing it so we're tracking it just so we can actually see in real time and see the growth but yeah i mean if like I have, I, I, if I was in a position where I just, you know, I'm barely getting by, I'm tied on cash, or even if I do have, you know, a little, I do have enough money to, I'm not like incredibly tied on cash, I'm like broke, but, um, but I'm just starting to invest. I wouldn't even look at it on a daily basis or anything like that. You just set it up and then set up the auto, 
um, uh, auto invest, as you can see over here. And, you know, let's click on this bad boy. Turn on auto invest to automatically invest all of your cash. Trading will be initiated once you have at least $25. You can also set a minimum cash balance to remain uninvested in your account. And trading will be initiated once your balance is at least $25 over that set amount. So, for example, if you set a minimum um, to $1,000, trading will be initiated whenever your cash balance is at least $1,025. The $25 will be traded and the $1,000 will remain in your account. All deposits and dividends are added to your cash balance and any withdrawals will be taken from your cash balance first. Um, and, you know, maybe you're like, hey, I want to kind of just build up a nice little safety net, so to speak. And you didn't want your money to be auto invested, but you want it to be sitting here um, so that, hey, maybe, you know, there's a company like this might not be a weekly dividend portfolio or whatever it might be. But maybe, you know, you want to make a big move on one of these companies that are already in your portfolio or someone you want to add someone, you know, in the very near future. Well, that's when you would want to consider doing this um where you you add a thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars or five hundred or one hundred whatever and then you'll have a hundred plus dollars that you can throw in towards that particular company on the spot so hopefully you guys um you know that makes sense if uh if you guys have any questions or any thoughts any suggestions feel free to comment down below and while you're down there definitely like this video show brother a little appreciation a little support a little encouragement for those of you out there who hopefully um don't feel overwhelmed or don't think you don't you know you need or wh whoever thinks they need a lot of money to start investing and to grow it as you can see you don't and you can start it really easy, really simple, especially using a platform like M1 Finance, which I have a link down below where, like I said, if you use my link, you can get $30 uh, for free. And I think, yeah, I think you got to like sign up and start. Like, I think you might have to contribute maybe $100 to your account, which is exactly what we did with our account over here. It started from there with $25. So. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Like I said, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. And uh, have you started your dividend portfolio? If, you, if so, you know, kudos to you. How is it going? Leave a comment down below. Are you killing it? Are you doing better than my portfolio right now? Or, are, you know, maybe your total amount of money might be better because you might be adding more money. But return wise, what you where you, what y'all doing right now? What y'all doing? What you got? <laughs> But uh, yeah, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you haven't started, why not? You can also comment down below. Let me know. I'm curious to hear what is holding you guys back. I wish I started investing earlier and sooner than what I did. But I'm glad I started at some point. It's never too late. And on that note, I'm going to keep it moving. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. And you already know. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.